our task is to identify major customer segment on a data set which contain all the transaction occurring between December 2010 to December 2011 for a UK based and registered non store online retail. The company mainly sells unique all occasion gift. Many customers of the company are wholesaler. The objective of this project is to perform customer segment for an online retail business. Let's move to the coding part. I used this Python library to perform various tasks. Let's load our dataset by pd.read csv command. I used dot keys method to fetch the column names. I used dot head method to check the first five rows in my dataset. So here is the first five rows in my data set there are approx 5 lakh 50 thousand rows and 8 columns in my data set I fetch this by dot, dot save method there are 5 object type and 1 integer and 2 float type data in my columns there are approx 1500 blank rows in my data set as in description column as you can see here and approx 1,35,000 customer ID are missing okay I used for loop to check duplicate sorry to check unique value and duplicate value so here I check duplicate value okay so you can see there are 5268 rows in my data set which are duplicate we will remove these entries so here you can again see approx 1500 description and 135000 value or blank in description and customer ID respectively let's check unique value by using for loop command okay there are 38 country in my data set and there are approx 4300 customer Let's move to wrangling part. We will analyze our data in term of RFM. RFM means R stand for recency, separating customer based on the recency of their purchase. F stand for frequency, segment according to how often customers make purchase. And third is M M for monetary value, creating segment based on the monetary value of the customer transactions. So let's copy the data because I don't want to change my original data. That's why I copy the data. Let's remove duplicate column and me any column. Okay. Let's convert the string column to date time column. By default, this column in which date in a str format so i use pd dot pd dot to date underscore date time command to convert the column into timestamp now we are creating some new column for further analyze in our data set that is year month day invoice time invoice date amount and we can also convert customer id into str format then there, there is date difference between date of maximum minus invoice date okay
here you can compare row and columns between old data and new data let's check unique value in our new df so here are the unique value for newly created columns and in new df now we are creating let's check before creating the data set if any customer return the product or cancellation we can say cancellation so here you can see approx 8800 customer return the product so let's remove this entries and save into a return df so i use this command df dot i use this command if quantity is less than zero then save it into a new database that is written df okay i define a function i also create my main df by giving condition if quantity greater than zero let's define a function to calculate the count mean sorry mean not mean calculate the count sum of amount and sum of quantity so i analyze return df but i don't want to go to in detail in this df because we will focus only our in main df okay so i remove entries where unit price quantity and amount is less than 0 or equal to 0 so here in the function yes we already discussed this function okay So I'm using this function to calculate the count and sum of amount and sum of quantity in my main df. So here you can see UK as a top country in term of customer we will give ob our observation in the last okay here you can also check the quantity of stock okay then I create a DF for categorize my customer into different segment I use group by command and aggregate the date difference if date difference minimum invoice number count amount is sum and rename these columns okay then I use this command to categorize or initiate my RFM score. So I create this DF. Okay. We, so we categorize our customer into 10 different categories. So here, here you can see the zero is the customer which perform low lowest or we can say zero is the churn type customer and nine in the ninth position or in the ninth group customer are most frequently buyer okay so here i give my observation 
that is the uk is the most top country in term of amount or in term of count or in term of customer and most of the data from the 2011 october and november is the peak month of the data and saturday is off day because no sales found on saturday most of the customer buying between 11 am and 3 pm there is a also price variation maybe due to discount or product variation each order contain average 21 unique products so let's visualize into chart so here you can also check highest peak on 11th month and highest peak on thursday highest peak on 11th approx 11 am and top countries uk as you can see in bar chart and most of the data from 2011 okay so these our basic finding in charts also i initialize the plot bar plot by using this command then i use log function to check rfm also we define a function to check the midpoint or turning point for clustering so here you can see here between 3 and 4 the curve is upping moving into a direction okay also we checked relation between different variable so here you can see amount and quantity are very highly correlated to each other okay let's check relation between rfm by heat map i draw then i transform this data into pair plot okay then i give some hypothesis also here i am created a rmdf for to check the rfm to clustering my customer into different segment i use log function then i store in a log df then i implement my model which is k mean clustering as we can see in the chart here let's categorize the customer into three group three different group so my cluster is i initiate i define my cluster in three and here you can see these are the table of three different group of customer zero means zero means very low performance okay because here mean value is approx 176 and one is the best and two is the average okay we can see on the line plot or scatter plot we can say this is scatter plot we divide into three different group okay also we can see in the bar chart there is a zero group which are very we can say low in term of recency frequency and monetary value one is the best customer we can focus on this customer that in future they can they would not churn or we also can focus on this customer to find out the reason why this customer are churn and these are the average customer 
we can offer some discount to increase our sales or to increase their frequency in our shop so i give my observation for cluster one has the lowest average recency it is 11.6 indicating recent transaction the highest average frequency 251 implying frequent purchases and the highest average monetary value so this cluster we can categorize into likely represent the most active and valuable customer and cluster 0 has a relatively high recency which is one approx 176 low frequency which means the customer in this group are coming in in low in term of frequency and moderate monetary spending so they don't they did not spend too much and too low customer in this cluster have made less frequent less recent and lower value transaction okay and cluster 2 fall between the other two cluster with moderate value for recency 65 you can see 66 and moderate spending approx 1200 customer in this cluster behave that are neither the most recent and frequent nor the highest spender placing them in the intermediate and we can say these customer are average we can focus on this customer to increase our sales overall this table aids in understanding the characteristic of the different customer cluster created through clustering analysis and can inform marketing and business strategies in the last before conclusion i also check the performance of my cluster clustering model by using chilhurt command and this is our explanation for k means why i use this model last in the last i give some conclusion this is my conclusion that country distribution in terms of country distribution the majority of the customer are from the uk the usa has a relatively high percentage of written product and year of data most of the data as we already discussed most of the data from 2011 which is expected given the data temporal nature peak month is october and november have the highest number of customer indicating peak sales or customer engagement during these months weekdays we also check the thursday is the most by day customer are coming most in the thursday and there is no sales in on saturday so that means store is closed on saturday peak purchase time is most of the customer come in bit come between 11 and 3 pm with a peak in returning product at 11 am the minimum and maximum transaction time implied that the business likely operate between 6 am and 8 pm so we also check the variation of price we check that for a similar product or a single product the price variation then the uk already discussed the has the highest number of unique customer and top customer we also check the top customer and we also check the order size analysis on an average is each order contain around approx 21 unique product with some variability in order size the minimum order contain only one product while the maximum order compromise 541 unique product okay the median size is 15 product dividing the data set into two equal halves the project conclude with the identification of the optimal number of the clusters three for k means customer segment and based on recency frequency and monetary values the correlation between frequency and monetary value and its variation across cluster is evident this correlation is also supported by heat map we already check heat map okay so this is the our project for online retail customer segment